Today's sponsor of the Vision Quest podcast is 920 Hat Company. Leather patch hats are in, and 920 Hat Company is here to hook you up with your very own custom hat. All patches are lasered on top grade genuine leather and on popular brand hats like Richardson and FlexFit. Whether you're looking to show off your business or want a one-of-a-kind hat for yourself, 920 Hat Company can do it all. All the hats are handcrafted right in the Fox Valley, but worn across America. With over 500 hats in stock, they guarantee fast turnaround times. Honestly, Liam, you know, looking at these hats, solid, right? Yeah, they're pretty, I like them. I like that patch, that patch itself. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, one of a kind stuff. Uh, I know his name is Trevor. Uh, he does great work. He's actually gotten what? I think we got some a knit hat coming. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got that coming. So uh, we're really excited to have these guys on board as a sponsor. So uh, get uh, get down to check them out on Facebook. I believe they're on Instagram. Uh, check them out, man. They got the best hats, I think, in the Fox Valley, if not in the state. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, get down to 920 Hat Company on social media and check them out. Big sight. Okay, New. so we're back. We got Wyatt Skiba here, and we're going to call this segment, yeah, all eyes on me. Wyatt's been around for quite a while. We've seen him since you were, what, 10, I think, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, just, a, just a reminder, when you guys are talking, just talk into the front, or at least at least close enough so guys can hear you. So we brought you in, Wyatt, into the pit. Liam wanted to call it the pit. So we're calling it the pit. You went through a recruiting process. You, you who'd you sign with? What's the university you signed so far signed with? Right? Yeah, Central yeah. You're there. Michigan okay. University. Okay. Is it solid? Is it solidified? Is it you're doing it? Yeah, I haven't. Well, I'm actually signing um, this coming Saturday. So. Okay. Okay. Well, you are, if you, I'll, I'll wait to put this out until you sign, ma'am. Well, <laughs> official signing date is what? Saturday. Saturday, but yeah. uh, next Saturday. Yeah. Yep. What's the official? I believe it's nine November, isn't it? Yeah, or I is think it seven. Is that what? Is it seventh or ninth of November? Ninth is the first day. Yes. Oh, well, it's coming up. It's yeah. coming up pretty quick. Okay, so geez, you're talking Wednesday. Yeah, that's the first day I could sign. Okay, but we're doing it on Saturday. So. Well, yeah, you probably want people around. I mean, yeah. you got yeah. family and things that want to be around, so call them on a Wednesday. Be like, hey, come hang out for a sign. I gotta work. Yeah. I probably would have said the same thing. So when let's start off with when you're a kid, right? Mm-hmm. You're a little kid. You don't even know what how to flush toilet probably properly, right? You're, you're still figuring stuff out. So, what did you what Where did you want to go as a little kid? You saw your first university wrestling. And you're like, I'm going there. What was the first university you thought of? Probably Wisconsin because I didn't I didn't really even when I was like little, yeah. even in like middle school, I always just cheered for like my home state, Wisconsin. So yeah, that's probably who I thought of, you know. And I didn't really have any like favorite universities. No, I would say no. I just liked watching all the wrestling. You're a fan like, of the sport. Yeah. Okay, let me get an answer on that one. See if we could trick you into something, but no, maybe not. So you you liked you liked Wisconsin, and and then you just started practicing. You you were in a you know going to clubs, stuff like that, wrestling, practicing. And now you get into high school, and you know the stakes are a little higher, right? Mm-hmm. What were your thoughts even going into high school? Do you have any going into high school where you had your eye on? Um, Don't no, worry, I- Central Michigan. I'm not trying to change his mind. It's okay. He's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have any, like, I would just, I was focusing on my own wrestling and then just, I would just, yeah, I was just a fan of the whole, I didn't really, I wasn't a big, like, there's like some kids that have like preferences, I guess, even before they get like, sure. recruited. But yeah. I wasn't really like you that. You weren't like that? No. You're kind of open-minded to everything? Yeah. That's cool. I think I, I taking him like North Carolina and stuff, I mean, he says like, yeah, I like this campus. Says, there's a lot of them. <clears throat> you know, yeah. you don't know. You just, I mean, how do you know? You don't know if you're going to walk into a place and completely hate the cafeteria. Really? I, you're I, not going there. I'd have to say Coach Kittleson yep. from Platteville said it the best. Yeah. He said you have to find a little a closer to Mike. Yeah. You have to find a university that yep. you fit in with. Yeah. Not one that you you want to go there because of this, that, or the other. Yeah. Yeah. You need to go there, go through the process, meet the other wrestlers. Yeah. Meet the coaches. Yep interact with them, get a feel for the campus, because you may, you know, think, hey, I want to go to North Carolina. Yeah. Starstruck. You get there. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's not what you thought it was. Sure. Yeah. Because you didn't go through that process. So were there 
were there schools, Wyatt, in that you, it, it, but you know, once you started really looking, were there schools that you actually got to go through a process to, or were they just kind of like, here it is, and then they don't give you the opportunity? Is that kind of how th- some of them did things? Were they just kind of like, hey, we want you to come check it out for five hours, then pff, see you later? No? They take the time with you? I or? would say, like, there was a lot of schools that were like, they really wanted me to come check it out. Yeah. But, like, they didn't fit, like, it just didn't fit, like, with what, yeah. like, my guidelines were even before I tried visiting. And then, yeah, I would say, well, yeah, I went on four official visits this fall. And then, but, yeah, those were all good. So, I'm I'm dumb. What's official visit? How, so how does that correlate? An official visit was basically like, um, it was like paid for by the school. Like oh, okay. Like okay. All the expenses. So, yeah. You guys just show up. You they tell yeah. you, be here, be here, be here. Cool. Because yeah. yeah. like an unofficial, you have to like, yeah, they don't really pay for anything. You just go there and you basically take in information. Okay. And stuff and then, yeah. So what, when did it all, when did it really start for you? When did, when did you actually really start getting contacted by schools? Well, after Fargo, I would say what I started doing is I started emailing a bunch of schools. Yeah. Because I wasn't getting a ton of exposure, I would say. Sure. And then... So you put you put yourself out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So right I, on. I was sending a lot of emails, and then I got a couple of responses back, mm-hmm. and then started building relationship with coaches in, like, August. And okay. And then set up a lot of visits in, like, September, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of how that went. So the so in, in nothing. I mean, was was something that right away was presented to you? Did, were you like, oh yeah, this is kind of? Were you kind of getting starstruck? Did you have something like that kind of hit you at first when you saw a school? You're like, oh yeah, and you jumped. You're like, wait a minute, I gotta think about it. Um. So like, what's the question? So when you were looking at the schools, all when all the when, like, when they first started coming in, was there a okay. school that you were just instantly like, oh yeah? And you're like, oh, wait a minute, I got to actually think about this and check this out and, you know, make sure that it's the right kind of thing. Did you feel yourself jumping at any of them? Oh, uh, no, I wasn't really jumping. Because I was like, I was thinking like, you know, I was just kind of like emailing all these schools. Like yeah. a lot of, they're pretty much all D1 schools. And yeah. just, you know, saying, you know, if they respond, they respond. Hopefully they do. Yeah. And, you know, like a lot of them didn't. But, you know, I had a Whatever. couple amount. Yeah. yeah. I had a decent amount of schools that did respond. Mm-hmm. So it was cool. Yeah. You know, and then I didn't really jumped the gun at any of them because I was like, oh, I thought it was just cool that all of them or that any of them responded. So it was cool. So yeah. I thought it was just cool that they did. So so when I, they when they start going through, like, oh, go ahead, Ted. Go ahead. I think something to touch on with this is mm-hmm. uh, he actually did the NCSA um, recruiter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that tournament. Yep. Well, not the tournament. Was he it a tournament? The, they, they have a recruiting yeah, it's See, like I don't a, know any of those. It's like, it's like a website, and they oh, like, like it's like it's a, a company. They yeah, help like. Yep, yep. I know the one you're talking about. Yep, but so not this last year, but the year before at Fargo. Yep, he filled all that paperwork out. Yep, he went and created a profile. And yeah, it's updating it, and we didn't really understand the whole process to it. Yeah. So we never did the they they have an assessment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's a phone call assessment. Sure. Um. And basically, we didn't really understand all of that. Yeah. Um, but your profile mm-hmm. does not go active, so those coaches all over the United States can see it until you do that assessment. Really? Yes. Interesting. So. And what's involved in the assessment? Well, what they ask you, there? okay, you know, they 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 know yeah who you are yeah. By your profile, what you filled out, and they check you out. Sure. They kind of, and then they have some questions as to um, what are you interested in going to school for? Mm-hmm. Um, where are you interested in going to school? Mm-hmm. Do you have a preference, East Coast, West Coast, okay. North, South? So they kind of, they want, they're trying to help you out, nailing down preferences of things. Yes. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, obviously, this is a service mm-hmm. that they want you to pay them yep. to, kind of do some legwork for you yeah and they you know and some people do that was it worth it uh we did not do that he decided that you know what i can look at all these schools and see what i want to go to school for yeah and see which schools offer what i want to go to school for yep and i can also see who they have for 125 pounders and that's yeah 
and who they have coming in for 125 pounds. I was just looking at Central Michigan too. I was looking to see who they had freshmen, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, but he, you know, he did his homework. Yeah. Good. And, good. You know, really, at the end of the day, a lot of it came down to academics. Okay. You know, nice. High five. High five. You're going to that. college for well school. Done. Correct. You're not going there yep. just to wrestle. Yep. So at the, at the end of your wrestling, you want to have something to come out of there with. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Wyatt, all got to be worth it. I mean, yeah, you know, exactly. The big picture. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Wyatt did his homework. And actually, CMU was one of the first schools that he emailed. Mm-hmm. Nice. You know, good. Um, I, I, I can't believe on how little that program gets attention. It's a uh, good, solid program. It I is mean, a solid program. Yeah. I would say, Coach, I would say um, like, for sure, I would say, from what I've seen yeah. in there so far, is, like, they're a little more old school. Yeah. So I would say they don't probably get as much attention, but they are they have a lot of really good things going on. So yeah. I really love it there. So. Well, and I, I saw some of the guys on there from, uh, I think, a couple juniors or whatever, that I remember their names, and, they, I mean, they did really well. You know I mean? It's, so that's the thing is, again, talking with Liam about colleges and stuff, too, is, like, it's not, there's many so much. I think I was just looking at like uh, NIUE, Northern, you know, Northern Illinois and stuff like that. That's, I mean, there's a lot of D1 schools that are out there that people are just sleeping on, you know. There is a total of, I think, 72. It's like 70 to 80, I want to say. I don't know. The really? Exact number, D1 but. wrestling schools. Yep. That's awesome. So, that's you, awesome. You do have to, you have to think about what you want. Yeah. Yep. Before you like, just start emailing. Everybody wants to go to a Power Five conference mm-hmm. wrestling school. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that might not fit what you want in as life. a whole. Yeah, in life as a whole, totally. Yeah, and you might find. I mean, uh, Coach Colin, Ben, mm-hmm. and Coach Borelli. Yeah, I mean, phenomenal people. Yeah, yeah, and, Borelli's and, good stuff. Yeah, and that is not to say that any of the coaches that we talk to weren't yeah great right right they were all great yep um yeah but you know you just have to feel that out feel where you feel comfortable you gotta sift you gotta sift through the stuff and find get through the noise and find the stuff you like mm-hmm. so when when you got con- so you so you get contact you make visits what are they doing with you they are they taking you around they got an athlete that takes you around they got an assistant coach that takes you around so yeah i'm like all my official visits, I had a host, mm-hmm. which was all of them were like freshmen in co- or like first year freshmen on the team. Yeah, they got to do then, the dirty work. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> normally it would be like you'll do that next year, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, so you have a host, and then like so a lot of the times, you know, we'll go out to eat or something with like the coaches. And oh, cool. Then, okay. Yeah, and then they'll take like th- you'll kind of like tour all the facilities and the campus and everything with the coaches and then yeah. they'll send you off with your host for like the rest of the day or the night. You know, How's their cafeteria? Was that pretty nice? Where? It's at CMU? Yeah. Was that pretty nice cafeteria? I think, yeah, I think their, um, their dining hall was pretty good. It kind of sucked though. like on my visit at CMU, yeah. like their dining hall was like, or like every time that I would try to eat, cause we were, the only times we were able to eat there were probably in the morning. And okay. Like every morning. <clears throat> yeah. That weekend, they they opened up like super late. So you're so you're sitting down to dinner with these coaches or lunch, whatever it is. What are they talk? What are they talking about? Are they asking you things? Are they are they trying to bring up old matches? Like what are they bringing up when they're talking to you? I would say it was just yeah, like well, either just talking about just like whatever, just asking you questions about like you know wrestling stuff. Hmm. Kind of thoughts on certain things, I guess, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to remember because it was. They really didn't ask any matches. They didn't talk about any matches. No, no like wrestling that. talk about um, that. Just kind of how things no, are in life. Um, Just like what he wanted out of college, you know. Right on. And yeah. they were they were just basically promoting their school. All of them did. You know, it mm-hmm. was, well, they're selling. I mean, they're salesmen yeah. at that moment. Anyways, they're trying to sell and, you, you know, you know, I get it. Yeah, you, you get it. Mm-hmm. It's not. And it, I wouldn't say it was so much salesmen yeah. as, hey, this is what this school has to offer. Sure. Yep. <clears throat> and, you know, it's uh, it's pretty interesting to go from one school to the next school mm-hmm. and see 
you know, the facilities and, yeah. and, and, you know, how they, they take care of their program. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty cool. So do they break things down for you then? Like, this is what our season looks like. We're going to start here. This is when you come in, you know, you're going to do this. So what kind of conversation was that? Is just, just kind of an information thing? Like really, really what the visits like is just kind of filling you in about what the program, I mean, fundraising, they talk about, we go and do this, you know, we go and do hot dog sales, just stuff, you know, whatever, but something fundraising kind of stuff at all. Yeah, I would say, like, they, they definitely talked a lot about, a, like, you know, like... Because that's part of the program. You like, know, specific stuff, like, yeah, like, training schedule. Mm-hmm. And, like, a lot about, like, life there at the school as well. And you, okay. You, you kind of, you get a feel from, like, your host, so you can ask them, you know, like, well, how does things roll around here? And yeah. Like, what's the schedule look like? And all those kind of specifics with that, they were kind of filled in, and then you ask, like specifics that would apply to like you more you know okay see how okay that works well so so when you're when you're when you're being contacted by this i'm gonna kind of i'm going from like you signed all the way to the beginning so when you when you talk to these guys like it was the initial contact was you sending something to them as an email hey coach i'm interested in your school kind of thing they then they say hey yeah you know we're did, did it take a couple weeks to get back to you like were you, were you kind of nervous not hearing back no um, with actually Central Michigan, it's actually a really co- funny story. So yeah, perfect. I, That's I, what we want to hear. So yeah. I sent. I was sending all these emails, and I think I sent. I just finished sending my email, or like I sent them to like every coach that they, yeah. I, that I could on the at each school. Yep. So I sent my emails or whatever, and like literally not even ten minutes later, I get a text <laughs> from Coach Borelli, and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> like right away. It's on because it was. Every other school, it was like, or like, one school in particular was like a month and a half, like a month. Really? And then there was other schools like a week or two. Yeah. And then like them, it was like it was right away. It was it was, was like that? ten Bam. minutes. Yeah. So they they want they didn't want to give up on that opportunity. Right. Yeah, I know. Well, it was. was you a solid guy, man. The other the other kind of funny thing about that was is uh, an individual from Denmark that wrestled for CMU actually messaged Wyatt. We were on our way down to watch a Brewers game. Oh, really? Because it was after Fargo, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, I was still off work after I had my knee surgery. So, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm like, hey, let's go watch a Brewers game. Let's go do something. Let's just get, get away from wrestling for a day. Yeah. So getting away from wrestling was him on the ride down there texting coaches or me- <laughs> emailing coaches on his phone. Yeah. yeah it's so, a life, man. So we were, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that kind of. You know, flit it away. But so. he got a message from Coach Borelli, and then we get down to the the Brewer Stadium, and he's like, "Hey, he goes, Brock Bergline." Oh yeah, just messaged me. He's yeah, like, oh Brock. Yeah, Brock Bergline. Oh, I think I don't. It, he might have messaged me first, actually. I, I oh, Brock texted you first, and then have. you heard. Because I think he, I want to say he messaged me on Instagram, and then like Borelli, like it was like almost at the same time. It was like. <laughs> Both at like almost the same time. I was like, "Oh, that was it's really like he's fast. got Borelli's email on it his was phone like or something." Really fast. I was like, "That's cool." Yeah, I mean, it it just really that says something, yeah. you know. That yeah. says something, especially especially when you're when you're literally putting yourself out there. It's not easy. I mean, I remember when my brother was going through because he didn't get recruited. He was he had to put letters out, and we didn't have email back then. He had to send letters, kind of fun, like in stamps, like an envelope, send it in the yep. mail. Wait for yep. two weeks to hear something back. Hopefully, you got a letter. You know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really. Um, unless you're a top 25 in the nation kid, yeah, you really have to go out there and sure. sell yourself. Yeah. Put yourself out there. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's just, a, it's one of those things where you can only do so much and with whatever you have, whatever you have to present. So you gotta, sometimes you have to just sit back and look and think, Hey, I gotta, I gotta do a little legwork, which whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, you think about it in these terms too. Like we said, 70 to 80. D one wrestling schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to wrestle D one. Um, well, and there's thousands of kids. Yeah, across the nation, I want to wrestle everywhere. D one, so, I want to wrestle D one. Yeah, right? that's the big thing. When I get to so, the NCAA's, man. Um, that said, you know, you like I said, those top twenty five, top one hundred kids in the nation, they're gonna get, they're gonna get people calling them. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. No matter what. Yep. Um. You know, like why, why it's been honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. But uh, that said, you got to put yourself out there. You still do. And I, and I honestly, those coaches, those coaches can't see 
every kid's name. Right. I mean, look at Fargo this year. Mm-hmm. Fargo, this is the biggest Fargo they've had in years. I think it might have been the biggest ever. Really? Yeah. yeah I think it was, yeah. Even, so even attention to that. you were at preseason nationals this year. Yep. That's the biggest preseason nationals they've ever had. And I'll be honest with you, it felt great being <laughs> in the high school group instead of being in the younger group because less people. It's quiet. Yeah. It's quiet, too. It's really nice and quiet. But it's uh, it's still a lot of kids. It is a lot of kids. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know, co- there's a lot of coaches there, and they're, they're yeah. like, you know, I like I, I coached high school. I'd I'd go there. I'd be like, as a college coach, well, where do I start? Yeah. What? <laughs> you know. Just start looking at the rank list first. You gotta, you know, as far yep. as a priority, and just start and going start through. Going like, through okay. It. But so now, when you so you finally got contact, and I'm not gonna ask specifics about what you signed for stuff like that. But there's a new rule I heard about. It's twenty percent. I heard a new rule that is going, I don't know if it affected your class or not, but that rule of the 20%, if you're not getting 20% or more, you're not getting the scholarship. That's rumor that I heard, and I don't know I how true I, it is. I think I just heard about that, too. I thought I saw something or heard about it where it's like, yeah, like if you're getting a scholarship, it has to be like 20%. Right, and I, like I said, I don't know if it affects your class or not, if that was discussed or anything like that, or like new rule kind of thing. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't hear anything. Didn't have think, any of that? I think, yeah, that I think that came out after at least my visit yeah. when I went there, so. So are there yeah. things, are they are there things that they're going to do with you beforehand? Like, are they saying, you know, like, you know, once season's done, we want you to start coming out, you know, maybe not in dorms, but they want you to try and get to some practices or some off-season stuff with them and, and yeah, things so like that? They laid it out for me, so they said that they want all their freshmen to come in, I would say, I think they said July, beginning of July. Yeah. Which is, it's a a lot earlier than I would say most schools, but I think that's another cool thing, you know, like they really want to get better and, you know, it's just a good opportunity, I think, to get accumulated to the campus and the team even before school starts. Yeah, totally. So I think they said July is when they want me out, and Mm -hmm. then they give... Then you train for a couple weeks, and then they'll give you they they let you go compete at Fargo, and they give really you, yeah. So that was nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. They're gonna let me compete at Fargo, and then I think like yeah, take two weeks off for that, yeah. and then come back, and then just train all the way up until school yeah, starts. I think I think when you come back, you might be moving in the dorms right away. Oh, really? I'm not sure. Yeah, because I know I think for the first, like, in the first part of that summer, I'll probably, they said, just stay with, like, um, some guys on the team, so. Oh, so are yeah. you are you literally just, uh, so are you going to the, what RTC are they tied to? Is that that Cliff Keen? Not sure. Or they have their own kind of. I think they might just have their own. Their own off to the side or whatever. They have their own thing. Is it? Well, that's even better. Yeah. But, I mean, you're still on a good side, <clears throat> and I don't know, and so that's one thing you'll have to let us know. I don't know how that works out like if you feel like you need to go there and train for olympic style stuff like cliff keen are you allowed to not allowed to? we'll talk to you about that once you start college and see I, what I, they believe tell you about that. I believe it's i believe it's just like here where you're allowed to go to the rtc as a crow flies 200 miles yes but i mean when he's actually in college are they going to allow him to train outside of you know their program rtc oh. kind of thing you know like go to cliff keen and train with those guys also come back to the room and, and train i guess I, i'm not familiar with central michigan's program so, so that's think, kind of i a, think they have their own thing because they, they said they train freestyle and greco in the off season okay and, and, they, and i'll they, do more research on they that took too guys u20 u23s nice so okay okay and yeah, I, they had a, they took a bunch of guys out there this year cool good so now when you when you're getting ready to get you said you get to compete in Fargo, things like that, do they do they have um uh do they have like dorm the, like dorms? Are you gonna be going to a dorm staying with someone, like rooming with teammates, or do you just room with a how do they work? I know some schools wrestling guys are together, sometimes in an apartment complex or sometimes in a like chunk are, of the are dorm. You saying dorm life? Yeah. 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 How are you, are you guys living as a team or do you guys wind up living as in separate dorms like a normal student dorm room oh so i think so the way it's set up at cmu which was really nice so mm-hmm. i think they have, they have all their wrestlers in one dorm mm-hmm. so like there's one dorm that's actually and it's the it's one dorm that's the one dorm that all the wrestlers get to stay in oh like, really it's right across from all the athletic facilities nice. which is really nice yeah. and then it's like 85 percent athletes in that dorm they oh said. wow yes so and then, so yeah and perfect then you get, <clears throat> The way they have their dorm set up, it's like four rooms to a dorm, and yeah. it's like 
two bathrooms and then like a common living, like a living room area, which is really nice. I really like their dorms there. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be with, and then I think I room with three other guys on the team. So okay, I won't have to like yeah yeah live with other just some other students. Or, yeah. You're with the team. Yeah. But there is other students in that dorm facility. Athletes. <clears throat> but there, it's athletes an athlete. And, and students. Oh, okay. So it's just like a certain athletes. level or a certain section the, of that the dorm. The NCAA does not allow just a an athletic dorm. Good to know. They have to have integrated dorms. Really? But, Why is that? Uh, I really don't it's know. It's a good it's question. Rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what they Let's just start looking at stuff up. But it was like majority athletes. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. And Which, so they must just have it sectioned off for them and or it, whatever it, in that dorm. You know, it's it's good in, in an aspect that they can kind of keep those athletes together and yeah. And and that's kind of what I would almost expect too, is to have more of a you know yeah. just a team environment. And pretty much everywhere during the season. That. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, and like I said, they they are integrated. Yeah. So it's. You have normal students and you have athletes in those dorms. Right. But all your athletes are going to be in that one facility. Okay. Yep. Yep. Intermixed with. That's all like a lot of them, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they do that, you know, just to out of ease. Yeah. I don't, you know, just to have them right there at the athletic facility. Oh, totally. Well, coaches can keep an eye on them too because you guys are wild. I, I almost wonder if they separate, you know, like just in the dorm, if they separate the athletes because everybody else is crazy or if the athletes are crazier when it comes to like letting <laughs> loose on a weekend or something, you know, you guys get a little crazy as the school year ends. Who knows why they separate you guys. But so when you, when you're ready to go, did they, did they tell you things that, that this is going to be different? You need to prepare yourself for this, you know, just sports wise. I mean, training, did they say, Hey, start doing this. Your training is going to be a lot different coming up into the wrestling room. Are they giving you itineraries maybe i guess for training to try and get you to i guess be ready for the room because it's a transition i would say i don't they haven't done that yet i mean i don't know if that would be more of a thing towards like the end end, like end of like school year yeah like i don't think yeah because right now they're kind of just yeah right just cool you're you're on board awesome that's where they're at and they're getting ready yeah well i would say that they that whole transitionary period when they bring them out in the summer yeah is where they get them acclimated to the college wrestling scene. Yeah. Um, I, I, several of the, the college coaches that we talked to said, mm-hmm. well, the work that you put in already, since you're, you, you do your high school season, you do your, your, you know, you're doing several clubs. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're putting in the same type of work that you would do in college. They're comfortable with the process that you're going through yes. and, and coming in. Yes. So when you when you're going to go, are you doing summer school? I'm not sure yet. I I'd, I'll figure that out eventually. I think towards the end of like my senior year, I'll figure out like you know, hey, like what are my classes going to look like? Sure. Because I think they said like some guys take summer classes, but not a lot. So okay, we'll I know some of them. I know at least some guys. At least just to, they do it to get like the um the uh, general courses over with and so they're not swamped with yep. them during the regular season well you know and i talked about that too is is uh your wrestling season is october through march march yep and then you get done with march madness yeah and you go right into freestyle greco freestyle greco yep, uww's and, stuff, and those yep. guys are doing that all the way through mm-hmm. you know yep. and then once that's done, then they transition back over to folk style. Yeah. Um, you know, I talked to Eric Barnett this last summer. Mm-hmm. and Name dropper. He said, <laughs> well. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. It's all right. I'm kidding. But he, he basically said, you know, hey, I'm, I'm focusing on folk style all summer. I need to do the X, Y, Z. Oh, okay. So I'm going to focus on, I'm not even doing freestyle. I'm just going to focus on really? folk style. So, you know, I, is it, is it. Was he still competing in that? Did he know he was going to be competing in freestyle? It was just like, I'm good with it? I'll, I'll I don't even know if he competed freestyle this summer. Just took a, took a break off, huh? Yep. No kidding. He, I don't think he did U23s this year. Well, I guess, I mean, there are decisions you got to make. I mean, is how much do you really want to put the weight on if you got something else coming up that's more important, you know? Well, you know, You're only in college day, for four or five years. Yeah, well, five years, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Red shirt. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, a COVID year. That's true. Yeah. Hey, what's up with the, now? Does that carry through? Is that a does does just the COVID guys get that, or are they like, hey, we'll give you a, a sickness year? I think that's just COVID. <laughs> Maybe that's just cool. Start oh. passing out years to just wrestle. You want to wrestle for 20 years? Go for it. It's fine. Yeah. Skip schools, though. You know, just keep jumping for cert- well, certificates. I mean, you, you take into account, um, take a look at Kemmer. Oh, how, yeah. How many years was he at Iowa? His nickname was Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> so there's I mean, that. You know, he, he had multiple injuries that he got. Yeah, he did. Medical well, red shirts. Th- so there's, there's red shirts, there's gray shirts. There's Medical blue shirts. What's that? Medical red, Medical red shirt. shirt, but there's different. There's other colors though too, isn't there? Isn't there a blue shirt? I never heard of a blue. No, shirt. No, never heard of a blue shirt. Maybe I'm crazy. I heard a gray shirt because that's no one. Do you know? That's a no. Division three thing. Really? Yes. Why there's is it only? So, I have so much to keep. Who knows? I, it, it only it's, a Division it's three. It's like thing. a red shirt. Um, for Division three, the only thing is, you from the t- start of their season mm-hmm. till the end of their season. Yep. You are not allowed to practice in their room oh. with the coaches. You can grab guys and partner up with them yeah. and go practice on your own. Yeah. You just cannot practice with the staff. So then I got a question for <clears throat> why it was did you go to like number one, did you did you do a practice with them? With like the team without the coaches in there? Or did you did you do um, no. any type I didn't, of workout? I didn't do a workout with them while I was at Central Michigan. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I didn't do that at Central Michigan. And then number two, did they So did they already know like what classes you were interested in when you went out to their visit? And if they did, did you did they like take you to that specific part of the college? Yeah, they they asked me Good about question. Like, like what um specific like stuff I was interested in studying and then we, you know, went to those buildings and looked at those buildings okay. like we went in there. Yeah, cuz like all the other buildings we just kind of looked at and then those yeah. specific ones we went and looked inside of. So, so then did you meet any of like the professors there? Like no, I think okay. when we toured it was like a Saturday. <laughs> so oh, it was okay. like there was like nobody in these buildings, but yep. we just looked in them and stuff. I don't even know the classes start already yet. When we went there, yeah, I think so. They, there. Yeah, they did. Yeah. What's um, up, Nolan? I just want to say that. Um, Do it. Like, when Wyatt was like, um, deciding on a school. Yeah. He was like really stressed out. Was he? Because it was like between one school and another school. Yeah. And he like couldn't like. Yeah. So you're stressed out, huh? Yeah. It was so stressful. so you don't have to name the schools, but what was the stressor? What was what was kind of what was making you go back and forth? I don't know. I was just really stressed out because I was just like I had like I was thinking about like multiple things like I like, school like just like school stuff and then sure. re- oh, wrestling. I was trying to focus on getting ready for you know competition and yeah. then, and then just focusing on like school or, like the college thing. So it was yeah. just yeah. I don't know. Kind <laughs> it's of it's a lot of it's a lot to put you know when you're, when you're you know seventeen eighteen years old you're They're a senior kids. in high school you. <laughs> You're making a decision for the for your college yeah. career. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yep, it's um, a big one. And that said, um, Liam's practicing guitar with springs <laughs> over here. <laughs> I yeah, <didn't> know <laughs> but, but that said, that, that's a it's a lot of a lot of uh, decisions to yeah. make. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Know. I mean, because you're um, not number one. It's not just your future. You're paying for that too, man. Like, yep. that's a. <laughs> That's yeah. a penny, man. That's, you got to make sure yeah. that you're doing the right thing. Um, That's for sure. Back to Liam's question, yeah. though. Um, there were several schools that you went to that you did work out with them. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So then why and do they – Did do you know if there's a specific reason why maybe CMU didn't want you to – or like – It was just timing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Just, okay. Like when we arrived and when – it was Workouts like we'd love to have you up here, but we just don't have blah 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 kind of thing or whatever. They yeah, it was just the way like the IT guys went around. The schedule worked out. Yeah. Yep, yep. So. Well, and it's I mean it's the same thing though too. Is like as far as like even coaches getting back to you, you don't know. I mean they could be going somewhere on a trip to a coaches conference or whatever it is. They could have been doing something. That someone told us. I remember when we went to um, it was Chris Bono. Um, we went to that camp. Uh, Bono built. Yeah, Bono Bill Camp. And they basically said that, you know, coaches don't be don't get nervous, you know, if they're not getting back to you because they, you don't know what they got going on. They could be going to a tournament, they could be doing whatever. So just be patient. I mean, did 
did you find yourself weighing things out where, where you kind of thought, well, these, I mean, these guys aren't getting back to me that after they contacted me the first time, must not like me kind of thing. And then did they reach out again after that? I would say I wasn't really like, yeah, I didn't know like, or I wasn't really like that where I was like getting nervous. Like if a certain school didn't reach out, sure. I was just cause I, yeah. cause the expectation was like, if they don't reach out, then it is what it is. And then okay. I was just kind of hoping, you know, I got at least some schools to reply. Well, you had your head on straight about it. You weren't, you know, you didn't have expectations that were unrealistic as far as you kind of knew the, it's almost like you kind of knew what the process was, but without knowing the process, you're like, I'll be patient. Yeah. You don't want to rush it too. It's a big decision. So then for Nolan, so now that your brother's committed, is CMU an option? Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, when I like get older yeah. and start looking at schools, mm-hmm. I think it would be an option, but yeah. like the way he did it, I think I would like kind of like look at that and like say like, I'm going to keep my yeah. head level and like look at other schools. Too. By all means, well, you're different. You know, you're yeah. a different guy. You don't know what you're going to like or yeah, I'm schools. Gonna take my visits and like see. Mm-hmm. Where I want to go. You don't want to have the Skiba brothers and the the hammer lineup, the one-two punch oh, at man. CMU? I mean, that'd, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Well, I guess, uh, you know, you'd have to ask Coach Borelli if he wants the Skiba brothers together. I don't know. That's, that's true. That's um, true. I've witnessed that. That could be risky. That could be, yes. that could be walls coming down. Sure. I don't know. I will say in the high school season, it gets pretty hostile in the room. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Between the ski buzz, the ski buzz, yeah. I'll, I'll, re- I'll reiterate yeah, that. I, I've heard from some of the coaches that a lot of the other kids just stay away. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> depends on the day. How do you, some days I explain myself, some no, days like, I don't. We're fine with other kids. It's just each other, it gets kind of. <laughs> so, so, so do you guys air that out when you get home then? Do you guys take that to the basement after practice and kind of no, rink? It's kind of funny, like now. Yeah. So like if we. <laughs> If we kind of have, we get a little aggressive in the room. Yeah. We'll ki- literally right after practice, we'll just be like, kind of just like shake it off and act like it was nothing. Like nothing happened. Yeah. Like it's cool, dude. So, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, whatever. So at first, <laughs> it's good. Were the, it's good. Were the coaches then like, at first, was it like, were they trying to like separate you guys? And now it's just kind of, all right, well, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just put them in the, we'll lead them more towards like the corner and see how this yeah, happens. Yeah. This is Skiba, the Skiba slam. Yeah. Skiba slam. So when, when you, when you decide to go and you are going to, you know, you CMU and you're, and you're there, you're, you're ready to roll. Are you are you, like right now thinking about, you've got to, you have a whole season left yet. I mean, you have to wrestle a high school season, but I mean, I'm sure you're sitting around thinking about it part of the day. Are you kind of worried? No, I'm actually, I'm actually really excited because it's a great opportunity. And yeah. that's why I think like D1, pres- it's just like such a cool thing. Cause it's like, yep. you get to watch all these really great college wrestlers. And then you're like, well, I get to, I think it'll be just really fun, you know, well, and I think um, your schedule is pretty well, ten, I mean, tentative, obviously, but the schools, you have good schools, man. Mm-hmm. You're, yep. I mean, you the Michigan State Open. That was I just watched some of that tournament. That was a good tournament. Man. That, is that a was a really good tournament. That was a good tournament. I, uh, so you, you got to see some good matches there. Yeah, yeah. That's it why, and that's why I stayed on it for almost all like all the time that I was yeah. at least home because I was like, man, yeah. there's some of these guys like you don't pay attention to. I was just it was floored. It was good wrestling. You know, there's a lot um, out there besides the Power Five conferences that I know. you know a lot of people don't see. Yep, correct. And hopefully, correct. Um, you know, people watch like a Michigan State Open and see, hey, you know what? Yeah, there's uh, something here. There's something here. So you know, you know, think about it, and that's a, I think that was kind of the thing I was getting to with Wyatt a little bit earlier, as far as the coaches. Um, what? Was there a coach before Central Michigan? Because now, I mean, obviously, Borelli's a good coach. There's, there's no question about it. Were, were there coaches that you spoke to that you could see yourself wrestling for? I mean, and then you also know their coaching style because, I mean, that's a big thing. You could go into a coaching, you know, or go into a wrestling room and, and you know the coach off to the side, but now he's in the room and he's like, yeah, you got to do this. You know, all maybe you don't like it, you know, fast, hard, and heavy all the time, you know, as far as wrestling and practice and live goes. Did you have any coaches that you were like, "Yep, not happening"? You know, did you have a couple of those? I actually, yeah, I didn't. I didn't have. You don't any, have to name them. You don't have to name yeah. schools. I didn't have any like um, 
specific coaches that I was like turned like turned off by yeah, turned off by or yeah. did, disliked because of that. Um, but I would say, like before, I took some of these visits. I took some other visits to some D three schools, and there was one school in particular. Yeah, where I was saying like you know I really I really like it here, and I think you know if I didn't get any exposure to some of these other programs like D1 schools yeah I, I could really I saw myself that you know I think this could be the place for me nice but I just had obviously like I started reaching out to more schools and got more exposure and then you know I was like you know what I think this is I really found my home in central Michigan so yeah ultimately so well and it's I mean having been over I mean you're number one you're not at home which not that far from home either you know you're just a little drive over the Mackinac Bridge is coming on over yeah. But then also, a, a Michigan's actually being over there for tournaments and stuff. It's a pretty decent area. Mm-hmm. Get along yes. the coastline. How close to the coast are you over there? Uh, it's, not really. Not really. Not really. It's like You're smack it's down Central down. Michigan is like <laughs> central. That's why it's called Central Michigan? Come on, man. Seriously? But, yeah. no, it's. I think it's a great choice. I, I was actually, when I saw that you had chosen Central Michigan, I actually thought I was like, that's like perfect. Like, it is a perfect fit for you as far as the room as far as the competition that you have there, and plus the opportunity to get the NCAAs, I think it's perfect. I think you yeah. you took the right amount of time and you picked something that's going to work. I think in the long run. I here. think that all the coaches that he talked to on a serious basis and, yeah. and took visits with, yep, he really enjoyed all those coaches. Yeah, they they all had something really good to offer. Mm-hmm. Yep, in in terms of personality and you know their programs. And where they wanted to go with their program, yeah, yeah. Um, I really respected a lot of that. There were some instances mm-hmm. in the recruiting process, yeah, where you know he got message from a couple of schools, mm-hmm. and why it was basically like, um, uh, you really don't have what I want to go to school for, sure, or, um, I'm. I'm you know, I don't think I'm going to take a visit with you. Mm-hmm. You know, one reply was, what was that one reply? Gotcha. It was a one word response. Gotcha. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, whatever. Okay, then. And I, and well, I, I told him. I've I heard said, about that, you know. And I, and I told him, I said, that right there is. It tells a, you something. It tells you something about that coach. Yeah. Yep. You totally. Know, first of all, did he really even watch you there? Yeah. Second of all, do you really want to go wrestle for that coach? Yeah, it's you know? a yeah. You th- you think you would get a little <laughs> bit more of a response as far as just kind of um, like, hey, you know, sorry you feel that way, but good luck in the future. Yeah, kind of thing. and yeah. I've talked Get to some you. of the coaches that you know he didn't decide to go to their school, mm-hmm. and you know they're wished him you know luck and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and nothing but good things because yeah. they understand the process right that um that's exactly what the process is what it's about and, and i will name drop coach obi from north dakota state when, okay when we were up there he's like look he goes i'm not one of those coaches that's gonna get upset if a kid doesn't come to my school yeah he goes i can't he goes i gotta understand that they're making a decision for themselves and you know it might not be the right fit here right you know totally and he goes i totally understand that he yeah goes, i went through the process myself you know and that's what matters and <laughs> you uh, know like the guy's actually knowing what it takes you know yeah and yeah. you know i had a lot of respect for those coaches like that you yeah know? um that was that was kind of a that was kind of a a, a good conversation yeah. when we had when we had that conversation well you're building relationships just uh, it's important alone just for the sport but you're building a relationship off to the side that it might you might send someone hey talk to this guy you know well, hey it's um, networking and and some of them coaches they understand i mean we met you know several kids yeah. along the process that uh they were at one school mhm didn't really work out for them. Sure. And they ended up at another school. It transferred. Yeah. yeah I mean, it uh, happens every single year. <laughs> we see, you it know, and, it, and yeah. instead of making it awkward, just, yeah. You know, be best of luck. You know, you know yeah. Best of luck truthful, to you. Honest. And so Nolan coming after all of this and seeing some of the stuff that he's gone through, 
Were there things that happened other than the stress? Were there things that happened where you're like, I definitely don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't think I'm going to make my process go like that. Not really. Not yet. I mean, he was pretty professional about the whole process. That's why I had a business, man. He was like, I don't know. He kind of, he didn't really tell us much when he was like talking to coaches. Like we would kind of have to <laughs> force the information out of him. That's awesome. But it's it's kind of funny because I <laughs> we'd ask him, hey, coach, coaches uh, contacting you about, and he really wouldn't say much. Yeah. And then like a couple days later, he's like, oh yeah, this coach contacted me about <laughs> this and blah blah blah. Yeah. I just asked you about that. The other day. <laughs> I want to make sure I was talking to him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. He, he like that. Oh, like no one said, he 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 handled a lot of it himself. Yeah. Wow. And and I nice. Good. Respect that. Yeah. I mean, he he knew what he wanted. Mm-hmm. He knew what he wanted to do. Yeah. And he kept him wits he, about himself. He did his research and he went after it. Mm-hmm. Good. So. That's it, important, man. I think. <laughs> You see a lot of kids now that get really excited, like you're talking about. You get the the D one. You want to be in the Power Five, and kids get lost in the process and get mad. Why is this guy contacting me? You know, and it's like just yes. you, the, maybe it's not the fit. Like you said, you got to find. You got to do your research. You got to yep. what? Are the, and that's the first thing we told him. You need to look at the education first. You know, he doesn't even know what he wants to do right now. He's yep. still at the process of thinking about what he wants to do for. And, and I will say this. Um, when you talk about education mm-hmm. and for all those kids out there that, that are like, yeah, whatever. I just want to wrestle. Mm-hmm. Well, Hey, you know what? When you get a 3.96 or mm-hmm. whatever it is, GPA, yep, you can get a lot of money yeah. for your academics. So that's kind of what I want to dive <laughs> into for just a minute here. And I don't want specifics cause it's none of my business. No one's business. While you're going through that process, I mean, you're getting percentages thrown at you, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, were you always looking at the highest percentage guy that's giving you something? Or were you like, no, I like this over here, though, even though they're not giving me the most? Did you have? Yeah, it kind of helped because I would say, like, you know, at CMU, they have, like, merit scholarships. Okay. And there's merit scholarships at other schools as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, Yeah. yeah, like, based on, like, your test scores and your GPA and... The test score thing you bring up, does that bump you? Like, if you're you're this amount for your scores, you get this much. If you get up here, we're going to give you this much. Do they, they line that up for like you? Like, at CMU, the way they have it, it was, like, for their merit scholarship, it was, like, yeah, like a grid yeah. of, like, test score on one axis okay. and, like, GPA on the other. So okay. So, it was basically, like, and then um, how much money, kinda, yep. it kind of, like, it was, like, It's yeah. a flow chart. Yeah. whatever to see what so so there's so there's that amount now i also know that there might be amounts for if you go to fargo and win it right they throw something in there like that or no 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 there's no, no. extra it's there. just that was academic scholarship like, like just for acad that was just for academic money yep so then and then like scholarship money they were just based on just like what they feel they can and that was that would have been set like they didn't say if anything in the future tournaments here that you're you know like you said they're gonna let you wrestle fargo they don't throw a little caveat on top of that yeah they didn't say anything about no future stuff right on right on yeah awesome well Um, hey the one the one thing that yeah go ahead uh, like uh coach borelli said he goes well we just want you to you know go out and wrestle yeah senior year we respect the fact that you want to make your decision early and yep Go wrestle your senior year and have fun. Did they bring anything up too, as far as like, <clears throat> let's say, if you were to like commit early, like an early commitment kind of thing? Like, if uh, I don't know if there's any what rules are for signing dates in high school and college stuff like that. But was there anything like if you sign extra early, you get an extra so much no. on it? No. So basically, when you get an offer from a school, you get so many days to sign it. Oh, okay, so okay. Well, yeah, you have a deadline on like that. Three, they. They want you to like because they can't once they offer that money to you they yeah. can't use that because then they would get like let's say oh this kid commits and this kid commits it's like, oh then where's the money at kind yeah of thing, so. yeah so they'd just be stringing someone along because so they yeah. don't have the money yes. so they just and you just got to make sure with the coach like what the timeline is for like yeah. that off, the and offer the like offer timeline for okay. the soonest that these guys can actually sign mm. as, as wrestlers yep was November 9th. Okay. That's what we were talking about. That's yep. the earliest day that they could sign. Okay. 
Okay. So you can verbally commit anywhere you want to go at any point in time Yep. in your career and not be affected I by mean, anything. I think and that I've seen happened. there's some kids out there that were seventh, eighth graders yep. that committed. <laughs> they verbally committed. That's absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> but I mean, unless your dad's like the so, head coach of the school or something, what, you know what I'm saying? Know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going to happen in four years? Right. Yeah. You know, right. Um, Maybe the school's not even there anymore. Well, school's not there anymore. Never know. The wrestling program. Yeah. Wrestling um, program. We got could get hurt. Coach gets fired. You know, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's, we know an individual that committed for baseball, and his I think it was after his freshman year, going into his sophomore year. Yeah, committed. Coach got fired. <laughs> no, I'm not committed there anymore. Yeah. Well, you know, it's crazy. So it's the verbal commitment is exactly it. It's a verbal commitment. It, it really means nothing until you put your ink on the paper. Yeah. Yeah, you got a question, Lee? So when you when you thought about committing to CMU, did you tell them right away, or did you just when they asked you, like, "Hey, how's it going with all the calls?" Were you just like, "Oh, it's okay," and it's then you the post it on Instagram, and then they go, "Wait a minute, <laughs> what what happened? Are you like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> yeah?" And and uh-huh. like it's like six a.m. and Dad's still scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> Wyatt, who did you tell first? Who I was told, your first person? I told the. Coach Borelli. I, I called him actually before I committed. No, who'd you spill the beans to here? Oh. Who was the first person you told here? Was it Nolan? I, no, my parents. Oh, it your parents? Yeah. I thought it was you, Nolan. It's been a great story. You know, like I, he told me before my parents. I think he was there, wasn't he? Yeah, or probably. no, he was in the football room, practice. In the room. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's at football practice. Did right you on. like sit them down? Were you like, hey, guys, we got to. Or did you just <laughs> text him and go, oh, by the way, yeah. no, I committed? I, ta- I talked to him. Sat and down. Then, yeah, and then I I was like, yeah, I'm going to call um, Borelli yeah. before I, like, post it on social media or whatever. So. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very he, cool. He had several conversations with, I think, all of us. I, I don't think even Nolan, did you have conversations with him? Yeah, we had a couple. Tell us what they were. Why it won't tell us. Tell us what the conversations were. If they're personal, don't say too much, but... I was just asking him questions about the schools, I guess. I don't know. Was it just kind of like general questions or what? Yeah, like when he came back from like his official visits, I was kind of like, well, oh, how'd you like the school? Yeah. Just wondering because like I didn't want to go with him there and just be like. Be like a tag along kind of guy. I kind of wanted to like see how he did it and just like kind of like when I got older, like take my official visits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's makes sense. You don't necessarily need to see what someone else is going through and you want to have your own experience kind of thing, but at least, at least you have someone to be able to kind of bounce ideas off now. You know, that's the best part. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, man, it's really fun to watch you because I've seen you since you were like this tall, you know? So now you're this tall and now you're going to college. So it's going to be more fun to watch. So now, now we have places to go. So that's the best part about college. Now all these guys are going to college. We could go all over the country again. Like I never stopped driving across the country for tournaments, right? I'm yeah. excited to watch you guys, though. Yep. It's going to be fun. I, I think um, if you ever get the opportunity, I think just to bring one of the kids from your youth program, you ever get the opportunity to take one of those guys just down on a mat and sit on the bench, just I, just remembering him watching college kids. Take one of the kids from your from your youth program. Seriously, just pick one out. Be like, hey, and don't worry about who you pick. Just pick someone and take them down there and put them on the bench. Let them hang out with you. That kid will idolize you forever, right? Mm-hmm. It's the best thing. And you guys do so well and you've done so well that you have the opportunity to take kids that road. Along with your brother. You know, you could take him along for a ride. So it's pretty cool. You've worked a lot. Who's that? Yeah. What does that say? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that. Um, Liam, Liam's getting text messages, I think, from my my wife while we're doing the oh, podcast. Was, was just me texting. Oh, that was oh, that was yeah, just you I, telling I, me. I, like, zoom in, so. Highly convenient. You could have just said something. Um, uh, uh, he's telling me about the the sponsor we have, which is Snap Down Designs. Just signed with those guys. Well, not signed. No nil deals here. I don't get anything. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm, I, those those guys do really good, and he's actually out of Georgia. But uh, I'm I'm excited to watch you this next mm-hmm. season in high school. Because yep. I think you have you have something you want to prove. Yep. Right? I was I was gonna ask that. Um, are you going Are you going into your freshman? You're gonna redshirt. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's that was that was my plan because I'm you know I would say on the smaller side and I'm actually yeah I'm just excited you know 
You gotta. I actually, you know, I gotta put some weight on in the off season. So <laughs> what are you at right now? Right walking now, around. What are you at walking around? around? Two eighty five. Solid 285. Like 122, 124. Okay. In That's not bad. that range. Okay. Yeah. You get up to that 126 range on. Yeah. And then, um, so, what, what, what were we on? I don't know. You were just asking oh, about so red shirting. When you, when, once you're done with your red shirt, do you, do you have like a list of things right away that you just want to knock off? Or are you kind of just seeing how Goals. it's going to like, yeah. yeah. Or are you just seeing like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to go in there. Dip my toes into how other guys wrestle from other colleges and see how it goes. It's not say you got to hold yourself to it. I mean, I it's just say, something you'd like to do, you know? Yeah, I would say, like, my red shirt year, for sure. I don't really, like, even kind of just, like, the way I approach things now, I don't have, like, a lot of, like, stuff. It's like, oh, you know, I want to, I have this tournament on my schedule, so I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Okay. I'm more of just, like, a, you know what, I have, like, a long-term goal. Kind of like this year, it's just, like, state title, and then, like, yep. All the all the other tournaments, it's just getting me ready and getting ready, and then mm-hmm. you know, it's not like it's like we have a big tournament. You know, I would say at the beginning of December, the Dan Gable Donnybrook for our high yep. school. Yep. Yep. And it's like you know, I really we'll want to go. I really want to go do some good things there. You know, go win the tournament, obviously. And there's gonna be some nationally ranked guys there. Yeah. That I know. Yep. But it's just it's not like it's like oh I. The goal of this tournament is to go do this. I'm just gonna, I'm just taking it one match at a time and get, go do my thing, you know, and yeah. get as prepared as I can. So Words then, of a wise man. So then in college, it's it's more of just like a yeah. It's like oh, I want to go win this many open tournaments and this have this many wins. It's yeah, because like, it's like you can't really control that. So you just control like how you prepare and yeah. get ready for all the tournaments, you know, and just go true. Keep getting better every you know for sure weekend and stuff like that. What so. what are you going to school for? Yeah. The, uh, so my. Kinesiology. My, 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 I'm actually between two different kind of ones right now. I haven't really chosen exactly. Yep. It's either marketing or um, dietetics, oh. which is like nutrition. It's like to marketing to dietetics. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> so, so on the opposite ends of everything. Yeah. So, so what, uh, what's that? D- describe dietetics to me. Dietetics? It's dietetics? just like, yeah, like, like nutrition. I so figured with diet in like, the name, but. I don't know. It's like. So would you would you be like are you think like health coach kind of thing like you're like or hey like, I'm gonna help you get to this like a dietitian or like the dietetics degree would, like you'd be working mm-hmm. towards being like a registered dietitian I would say okay so okay then you could either nice. work with like yeah like clinically or you know do yeah that, do your own thing or I don't know yeah so. do your own thing exactly I mean that's kind of the way to go just who wants to work for someone else <laughs> your dad and I have been stuck doing it all our lives it's time to branch out do your own thing man. What about you, Nolan? Has he has has what he wanted to do given you like any inspiration as far as what you want to do for work? Not really. Not really. You guys are two different guys, man. You are. You wrestle differently, and that's perfect. That's how it should be. You wrestle completely differently, and the thought process. At least you guys have each other though to like kind of. You can meld th- meld things together and kind of discuss things, and then you're just like, eh, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do no. when I go to college. The sophomore this year, right? Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't know. No. I don't really find, like, I haven't really looked at it yet. So no. We'll yeah, see. you're sophomore. That's fine. I just, I told, I, what was it, your eighth grade year? I told Liam, just look at colors of the universities. No. <laughs> That's it. Find your no. favorite color. It was, it was after the North Carolina trip. Yeah, it was like seventh or eighth grade. Something like that. I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. With, so, talking about two different styles, did that, did that help both of you in, like, when you were younger, Trying to wrestle, cause then, cause then it's like wrestling a brand new guy. You know, mm. you gotta figure it out. Obviously, you guys weren't wrestling each other brand new, but yeah, was it a little different? Were one of you guys the same styles at one point? It was just kind of clashing, or um, I would say I feel like the way me and Nolan wrestle, like I feel like it's we kind of we can take aspects of each other's game too and apply it in our matches, cause I can definitely tell like. Nolan's getting really good at like ankle picks, which I that's I, like my main. I was better at Is ankle it? picks before you were. <laughs> <laughs> Look where we started. This is I fun. I don't All right, now so. you just stole my no. thunder. So <laughs> no, no, no. You there don't. is there no, is two different, this no, <laughs> two different ankle picks. This is here. Two different ankle picks. Two different ankle picks. Please tell us, Ted. Nolan's is more from a straight ankle pick from a tie. Okay. No, it isn't. Uh, <laughs> it depends. No. I can pull up a match right now, Nolan. I got your name pulled up on track. We can watch you. No, but when you first started using ankle picks, you were more of a, you know. David Taylor ankle pick? Yeah. 
you were more of a David Taylor ankle pick, and Wyatt started using that drop down ankle pick. That Jordan Burroughs ankle pick. I don't was know. Boom. So I, 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 I'll do like a single, yeah. maybe. I can do mine just from like space, kind of like a low single or. <laughs> Your ankle Mr. picks like a low single when you come because a lot of times you're coming from a little bit of space. You come, it seems like when you get that ankle pick, you're almost coming around to the side when you do your ankle it's pick. It's kind of like a yeah, and it's then like you a pick it up. Too. Yeah, it's, dep- it's, it's like kind of it's kind of like my own thing. So yeah, it's like, I an, like it. So. Yeah, you've yeah. adapted it. But I think like me and Wyatt, when we wrestle with each other, we kind of like talk about what we're going through, yeah, and, like what we're working on, yeah, like before we wrestle. Okay, and then we yep. kind of like. We have an idea where you're, where you're trying to get done. Yeah, we like yeah. bounce ideas off of each other sometimes. Yeah. Just like work through positions, I guess. Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah. like. Like sparring kind of thing. You guys are just trying to, you, you put yourself in it and then you try to help each other figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Is, That's awesome. Has there, ever, has there ever been for you like that, that little like older brother thing where you think you know more, where no one's like, hey, you could go here and you're like, shut up, dude. <laughs> I, oh, I, I definitely, there's gotta be. I definitely show, <laughs> I would say probably, yeah. Cause yeah. like he's trying, yeah, yeah. right. and I'll just be like, yeah, whatever. And then I'll yeah. try to like, I'll try to say something to him and he'll be like, yeah, shut up. Yeah. Whatever, dude. But yeah. then he's, we're getting a little bit better at it. I would say we're getting better at it now. That's so. good. Well, I, but that's competition, man. I mean, that's yeah. healthy. You know, you should be slapping each other upside the head and yeah. kicking each other when you're mad. Cause he just took you down. Get off me, man. I don't want to touch you. And it is kind of funny because they have over the years, Taken stuff from each other. Yeah. And like stolen stuff from each other? Oh, yeah. Man, no one. No. Why Nolan is Come definitely on, stealing my ankle <laughs> pick because I saw, I was watching his matches yeah. at preseason and I'm like, oh, yeah, he's shooting a lot more ankle picks now recently. I'm like, that's probably because of me. But. Well, well, I shot a lot more than I did at Fargo for sure. I, n- I didn't take a single shot at Fargo. So. No? no. Little, were, you, were you worried? No, Were I you just, worried of I I was head pinching and body locking a bunch of people, so I was kind of like, <laughs> I just let him shoot and I just head pinched. Let him. a rip tater chip. Yeah. yeah, there you go. The, the right. one kid that he lost to at uh, Northern Plains. Yeah, I think he head pinched him. Did you head pinch him four or five times? It was like five or four. Yeah, it was five. And they're just letting that stuff go. And the, just, the kid, the kid beat Nolan. Yeah, you know, at Northern Plains. Really? And then Nolan had him. Was it the first <laughs> or second round? And he's like, first round. He's like, come on. <laughs> Yeah. Beat his ass. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then he goes out there and he lets the kid in. I'm like, what is he doing? Yeah. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's two. awesome. And then he goes. Uh, two. Two. <laughs> two. I'm like, okay. Okay. I'll just shut up. I won't say anything. Go with it, son. Has Go with it. For you, Hugh, has there ever been times where they're like, they're like wrestling in the basement or wherever. And then, and then you just hear like, just. Bam, bam, and you're you're kind of you're kind of waiting to hear something, and then all of a sudden one of them yells, and then you gotta gotta go down there and see what happens, <laughs> and it's just a complete kind of brawl. Dogs don't start barking. Answer. Don't even don't answer even anything. answer. <laughs> don't even say anything. Dogs start barking right away. Okay, because they come down to check it out. Okay, we've had the mat in the basement. Yeah, for since a while. They were really little. Yeah, a long you time know, since we moved into the house. We we got that mat. Yeah. Um, and there was. More than one time, yeah. Where Jen came home, yeah, and she's like, "That's it, we're getting rid of the mat." <laughs> <laughs> Put in the she, backyard. She walked in the in in, you know, they'd be smart enough to clean up the mat, yeah, but not smart enough to clean up the bathroom. Oh, you guys! Or well, they'd be smart enough to clean up the bathroom, uh, but not the mat. Nowadays, your civic or, duties. Or they would leave like bloody. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, down on the floor down there. You know, in the basket where mom could find it. Icky. Guys. Um, Come on, man. <laughs> well, respect to the wrestling room, man. I, I think it was more. And of, that's where they kind of got, you guys were like, no, this is, we can't do this anymore. You know, um, <laughs> there was a, you know, when they were younger, there was a lot of, you know. Yeah. Fighting. Angst. Sure. Amongst each other. Sure. Um, MMA, really? Did you really? You guys like punching each other? We have box, we have box before multiple times in the basement. All right, gloved so, yeah. or gloveless? Gloved. Gloved, gloved box. I bet okay. there's been some instances where, like, he's in a crackdown or something. You just like, <laughs> <laughs> knuckle. Oh, yeah. Just take yeah. that little knuckle so then, off. Okay. It. So then, how if many? We get, we get kind of mad at each other. We'll kind of just start like yeah. doing, yeah, just like. So then, fun. how many times when you've had to clean up the blood? Who is the one who? Bled first. 
Because that's ultimately the I think the both of them. Both of them? I don't so think, okay. I'm going to say, I don't, I don't think, oh, oh. and I don't think that you could say loser or winner because they Just were bleeding. Both bleeding. Yeah. I think you're the bleeder, though, Wyatt. I, I think am. you're the bleeder. I am. Yeah. I actually bleed pretty easily. You do. I've I watched I've say, watched you bleed pretty like, easy. Our mom can definitely, like, we'll be wrestling downstairs, <laughs> and then she'll hear, like, a, oh, or, like, a, some sort of curse word, and yeah. then she'll be like, guys, <laughs> guys, yeah. you all right down there? And we're like, yeah, we're fine. Good. Good. So while he's holding blood back on his arm or his nose or something, like, we're fine, Mom. Has there ever been? I think the uh, the worst was that they were playing spike ball after they were oh. done playing. In the basement? In yeah, the basement. Wow. That. We yeah. did. And That's wild. You know. I think you're um, crazy. It, they get some heated matches with Eric. <laughs> I mean, the, like... <laughs> But, like, I oh, thought boy. the house was going to fall down a couple times. Wow, nice. Like, hitting walls and running into no each holes? other. No holes in the walls, though, right? No holes? There is a hole, a tiny hole in the wall from Nolan head pitching me when oh. we were drilling, and my foot rammed into the wall. Yes. Okay, his foot wasn't your forehead or nothing like no. that, right? No, no. concussion protocol. But the, but the spike ball actually <laughs> got where I was like, hey, what the hell is going on down yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. We're playing spike ball. Yeah, we're good. It's a healthy match, Dad. It's okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Did have, it you ever, have you ever had any instances where it was like, it was super loud from like movement or whatever, and then it got quiet? Yeah, like dead quiet. Yeah, and then because and then they're standing around like. That's usually, I, the, that's usually the time when mom says, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever. No ever, report back. <laughs> have you guys ever like. Like broken any t- like TV or no. any electronics? I don't see these guys doing that. No, no you guys don't have a TV down there, do you? No, we yeah. do, but it's like oh, do. there's like furniture and other stuff. Like yeah, away yeah, that's from the t- like yeah. There. You're separated from the TV for by quite a ways. Oh, that's that's good. That's right, because you guys have that open space off to the yeah. one side, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once it goes into that silent noise, it's normally like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> <laughs> not really, not at all. <laughs> it kind of hurts, Mom. <laughs> That's awesome. That said, that we haven't had to take him to the dentist. We haven't no. had to take no him to stitches. a doctor or stitches or anything like that. So. That's all right. I mean, well, I, I wouldn't take him anyways. It's just a butterfly ever, stitch set up. Has ever been like, were you, were you injured him? And <laughs> Are you trying to start a fight? No. I think you're trying to start like, a fight in here. Where it's like, <laughs> where it's kind of like, you're like, oh my god! You don't tell mom! Don't tell mom! And he's like, I'm gonna tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets home, and you're like sitting there worried, and then he just doesn't say anything. And you're like, oh, thank God! You high five him after not saying yeah. something. Yeah, I think there's been times both ways that we're like, yeah, <laughs> we're like, oh, I might have injured him a little here, hurt him. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, don't say anything. You know, you have an advantage now too with him going to college. You can get summers over there. They might let you train with him over there. Off season, oh, yeah. off season. Yeah, I'll probably go up there and visit him a little bit. Because I think you're still you're still within that range. I think right, isn't it the the two hundred as a crow flies? Yeah, I don't know. I'd have, have to, to look, look that up it. too. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Because if you're still within that frame, you can go. It doesn't matter. You have to. I mean, there's criteria. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure they all have kind of the same criteria as far as kind of meet coming to it. Maybe each state's different, but yeah. that'd be kind of cool. You'd be able to go train with your brother. You can show him how you guys beat the crap out of each other and kind of. Really show him where he came from. Probably get signed right there, right? I don't know. No. <laughs> right on. Well, I do. I You guys have been here for a while. We're going on a little over an hour, so I'm going to cut you loose because you guys had a rough day out in the woods. Cutting trees down, making bridges, stuff like that. That's a rough day. I just did not expect to hear all that when you guys got here, and then you yeah. fell in the river, things like that. So I appreciate you guys coming in. I appreciate you sitting down telling us about the process and mm-hmm everything that you can about it. Um, we're definitely going to catch up with you once next. Well, I We're going to watch you this season, but I definitely want to catch up with you more once you hit the room in Central Michigan and start hearing what, you know, bring you back maybe two, three, four times once the season's done and start talking about things. Because I'm, I'm interested. I Like I said, I've seen you since you were yeah. like this, man. You know, yeah. it's finally nice to see some of you little guys coming up and doing big things. It's well, cool. he, hasn't, he hasn't grown that much, but... <laughs> he has, true. actually, since... Yeah, it a little depends. bit since Princeton. I mean, he was, a like, here, bit. yeah. Maybe six like inches. Pounds, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, 
fun yeah. fact, me and Liam actually were the same size at one point. You were. Right, yeah. You were. At that camp, you guys wrestled each other. Yeah. Yep. That was that was fun. I think you were, uh, I think you might have been seventh grade. Sixth or seventh grade, I think, when you guys were at that one. The first time we met you guys yeah. out in the parking lot. I think fifth we were, like, yeah, fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, because hey, yeah. Liam was, like, fourth, next. third, something, because he's three, four years younger. Next time next time I get to the czar, then, we got to be partners. We okay. got to gotta see who... Settle it now before well, you weigh him by like forty pounds, dude. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's he's, fine. He's faster. Uh, <laughs> ah, fair. All right. All right. I appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, we are going to let you go on a note of Tupac. All eyes on me because it's about Wyatt. And thank you again, Wyatt. Thank you, Ted, for bringing him. I appreciate it, Nolan. You'll be back. We'll have you back. We'll bring you back at the end of the season, maybe the beginning of the season. How you're doing, but. Well, everybody, have a good night, and we will talk to you later. All of our episodes are brought to you by Appleton Tattoo, located at 117 South Appleton Street in Appleton, Wisconsin, right off the main drag on College Avenue. You can't miss them. I've had some work done. Uh, I have a Celtic cross that covers my back that was done by Jason. We're not done yet. Uh, Jason Winans and crew, uh, the artists that he have there, those guys are the best in the Fox Valley. Um, they are definitely one to go to. If it's something that you've just been kind of throwing around, they'll make you feel comfortable. It's a very clean environment, very nice crew, um, and very willing to get done whatever you need done when you need it done. Um, you can message them on Facebook. I know they're on Facebook. You can give them a call uh, at 920-604-8289 and get in touch with Jason Winans and crew at Appleton Tattoo, located again in Appleton, Wisconsin at 117 South Appleton Street, right in Appleton. Very flexible hours, great crew, clean environment again. Uh, I would not send you anywhere else except for these guys. Appleton Tattoo.